Interesting question. What do chewing gum, delicious ice cream, lotions and other cosmetics have in common with our EWM cooling units? The answer is propanedial. For the chemists among us, the molecular formula is C3H8O2, and the structural formula looks like this. But that's just for the clever clogs. Even if that doesn't mean anything to you, you've definitely had contact with it before. Propanediol is found in food, is an ingredient in many cosmetic products, and is environmentally friendly because it's biodegradable. And the cooling units of our welding machines also run on it. Propanediol is the main component of our blue cool coolant. But don't get me wrong, blue cool is not edible, and you shouldn't smear it on your face as a cream either. Other additives in blue cool protect the metal components in the welding machine and torches from corrosion. Protecting the system is the most important reason for using coolant instead of just water, for example, which would be much cheaper. Here is a short video on why this is the case. Water conducts electricity. Anyone who has ever sat in the bath with a hairdryer knows this, assuming they survived. With a water-cooled welding torch, a small amount of current always flows through the coolant. This leads to electrochemical reactions in the welding torch and the welding machine. Base materials such as brass dissolve. The removed materials are transported to the more precious materials such as copper. Chemists call this electrochemical corrosion. To avoid this, liquids with the lowest possible electrical conductivity are used as a coolant instead of water. In everyday language, this is often referred to as the conductance. Strictly speaking, however, this is not entirely correct. Electrical conductivity is measured in microsiemens per centimeter. With normal tap water, the values are between 250 and 1,000 microsiemens per centimeter, depending on the degree of hardness. Blue Cool has a conductivity of less than 15 microsiemens per centimeter. I would say the figures speak for themselves. Blue Cool has another major advantage. When the water is around zero degrees Celsius, things get tricky. A temperature that is quickly reached in winter on the building site or at night in the materials store. Blue Cool can withstand temperatures as low as 10 degrees Celsius as standard. However, there is also an extra frost-proof version that can withstand temperatures as low as 30 degrees Celsius. But that's not all. Now I'll show you perhaps the most important advantage of Blue Cool. Firefighter Christoph is standing next to me. Christoph, what have you brought for me today? We're usually here to put out fires, but today we want to light one ourselves for a change. To do this, we built our own device which we can use to vaporize liquids into ultra-fine particles and ignite them. Firstly, we have ethanol, the basis of many conventional coolants, and we want to take a look at this. This is propanedial, the main component of blue cool. Hmm, nothing happens. To be honest, the guys have exaggerated quite a bit. This does not occur in normal welding practice if handled properly. But with this test set up, even flour from the kitchen would be a fire hazard. So with that said, I find it impressive to see that nothing happens with blue cool. This is relevant for transport, or storage, for example. For small quantities under 1,000 kilograms, there is absolutely nothing to consider here. No dangerous goods. No hazard class for flammable liquids. Nothing. Almost a bit boring. Of course, you should still observe the usual rules for storing and handling chemicals. Just take a look at the Blue Cool Safety Data Sheet. It contains everything you need to know.
As it happens, though, Blue Cool is not a standard coolant that is simply filled into EWM packing drums. It is a formula specially adapted to our machines. It is produced in compliance with the highest environmental standards. Wait a minute. It says water hazard class 1 on the label. How does this fit in with biodegradability, for example? I asked. Blue Cool is water-soluble and biodegradable. It doesn't affect flora or fauna. Nevertheless, residual quantities should not be disposed of down the drain or in wastewater, but should be properly disposed of by a specialized disposal company in compliance with regional regulations. With so many advantages, there's no question about it. Blue Cool belongs in every welding machine. It is also suitable for many third-party manufacturers. We have been relying exclusively on Blue Cool for our own machines for some time now. The coolant should be changed after a certain period of use, but only if it's really necessary for environmental reasons. Nobody knows better than our application technology experts when this is necessary and how to proceed correctly. When must the coolant be removed? The coolant must be removed if the conductivity is too high. And how does that happen? This happens because very small metal particles get into the circuit during welding. And these can not only clog the circuit, but also cause the conductivity of the coolant to increase. We have a small device here to measure this. You open it like this, put it in and can then read off the value. OK, at what value do I know when the coolant needs to be changed? That depends a little on which welding torch you use. Just have a look at the data sheet. For our EWM PM welding torches, the guide value is 350 microsiemens per centimetre. It can be said that this is generally a good value for completely replacing the coolant. And what about frost resistance? This primarily comes into play when the welding machine is taken to the construction site and stored in unheated halls, in which case the concentration of the coolant should always be checked. That's why we have this refractometer. You can open the hatch here. Then take a few drops of your coolant, drizzle this on top, and close the hatch. Then you can look through it like through a telescope and see the temperature resistance in degrees Celsius and the concentration of the coolant as a percentage. But regardless of all the values, you should throw out all the old coolant once a year, flush the cooling circuit with water and then fill the system with new coolant. As you can see, it's worth looking into the cooling of your welding machine. Blue Cool. Doesn't burn. Doesn't smell. Is easy to store. Frost-proof down to 30 degrees Celsius. Protects against corrosion. And has a low electrical conductivity. And all this saves on costs too. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments or contact your EWM consultant or one of our sales offices.